Oh, yes, there it is. There, that's the portal room over there. All oh, right, hello, it's uh, me. Uh, it's been a while. It's the last time we got horses. I don't remember what else we did, but basically we need to start automating some things. I uh, need to do some more trading with the villagers. Oh, and explore the nether some more. That's something else I want to do. I think the best direction to go is in this direction. That's what we found last time. Uh, we have a tunnel here. I, I think it's just generally hard to find nether fortresses. Nether, nether fortresses now um, than it used to be. So hopefully we don't need to go too far. Can these guys just like not exist? <laughs> Ooh, he did a lot of damage. Is that another fucking bastion? It is. The fuck? You've got two bastions basically like so close to each other. What the fuck? I don't care for these. I want a fucking fortress. Uh, okay, let's go. Let's go over here then. We've we've explored a little bit in this direction. Not too far. Ooh, magma cubes. Um. Since when do they not attack? No, I don't want to bridge across a lava lake. And terrain isn't as open as it used to be, so it's no, it's not easy to actually explore it. On that side, it's a bit too hard to explore because we've got the warped forest thingy, and it's kind of hard to go through. All right, well that was a useless adventure, but now we know that there's nothing particular over there. All right, so I do want to set up some kind of cobblestone. Farm because then we can have infinite blocks and stuff. That would be nice. How much redstone do I have? I know I have a little bit. All right, we've got 27. Not really enough, is it? I don't want to build it too high in the air, but I do need to go in the air for it. We want the water to be coming across here. This is where the water streams, the water, the water uh, blocks will be placed. Uh, then we're gonna have lava basically placed at this level and then over here you would place obsidian so that the pistons can't accidentally push it if it gets stuck redstone on netherrack this is a sin so what happens these pistons are extended by default um, something gets created there they um, retract these pistons push down and things just happen and it, it's gonna work nicely it may take a while to figure out the redstone because there's a bunch of finicky timings, basically. Wait for that to spread. That's not quite working as I expected it to. Most of it's ending up in the lava because I'm a fucking genius. We've got items float up. Maybe not this then. Maybe we don't do that. Unless we make hoppers. Put the chest there, and I guess all items will just flow to it. Diamond pick, 491 uses. We'll just mine for a while, and then um, compare the number of uses to how many items we actually get. So we got two items from just picking it up, and then another 66 items from um, 68 items from the collection, so that's 70 items total, and in that time the pick was used 99 times, so there is a fair bit of loss, but it has worked in getting us a few stacks of cobble that we needed, so I guess it wasn't a complete waste. It's a shame that pumpkins don't spawn in super flat in any way. Hold on, hold on. Maybe they do, maybe they do. Um, I might be smoking crack, but I thought that uh, I saw one in the village. I'm just gonna go check it out. I don't think it actually did spawn, but just in case, you know. Yeah, I think I was smoking something. I haven't been here. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that. Horse? Horse? You little shit. I'm here. But what what do you why do you insist on fucking off? Oh my god, horse is so much nicer than running around everywhere. I may be like going out far, but I'm not expecting to really find anything. It would be nice if I just suddenly came across a stronghold. It'll be floating up in the sky. 
It's also highly unlikely we'll find a stronghold just directly on one of the axes. They usually spread out more. Um, there's three of them in the ring, on the like first ring, and then I think it's 12 per ring afterwards, something like that. I wouldn't mind finding one more diamond. That's all I need, one more diamond, and I can have an enchantment table. Hello, it is me again. I just need to check something. Right, yeah, so today what I wanted to do was try get this thing working. Um, we do need a few things for it. I forgot exactly what it was now. Pointless, we still need sand first from a wandering trader. Some things we can do before we find the, another wandering trader and pray that he's got what we need is do more villager trading. Uh, we can expand upon our villagers, um, hopefully get more trades and things we can get more emeralds for. Otherwise, we're going to be struggling. Okay, so, um, let's see what trades you will have. That is horrendous. Okay, okay, um, I'll take a shovel, actually. I think it's indicative that he's going to have a diamond shovel in a bit, right? He has a shovel with efficiency one. Yeah, what? Well, it's a cheap shovel, I'll take it. Um, yeah, no wandering traders, because this game hates me. We do need more redstone, but... I don't want to use up all of my emeralds in case we do get a wandering trader at any point, like ever. What should the next villager be? I'm thinking a weaponsmith. <gasps> he came about! He came about! He came about! Got melon seeds. Um, I'll take that. I've waited 70 days for the second one to come about. I, ra I bet you. I bet you. Yeah? The first one came on day 35. I am willing to bet on that. That's about how long I think it took. So if they're coming about every 35 days... What the f***? That is so slow. There should be like... Every half an hour. Okay, we got an anvil. Now, these melon seeds. Fucking finally. Uh, I'm actually so excited to have them. Uh, because that's another thing we can trade. Um, we can trade melons with this guy. Now, it's not the trade I wanted. Far from it. But... I'm not complaining. Which one of you had a deal? I'd much rather have pumpkins because, again, as I said, they it works out cheaper per, per block that you grow. Right. Oh, that barely... Oh, man, this guy's expensive. An efficiency one pickaxe. <laughs> Oh, you useless shit. <laughs> so what can we do right now besides just wait for more wandering traders? Um, really not that much, unfortunately. There's a lot we need from a wandering trader. Okay, and with this, we will be able to trade sticks for emeralds, which is a fantastic deal. Um, if you ask me, because, like, wood is free. Go on. Off you fuck. Sticks. Um, let's chop all of these trees down because we want to make a new farm. Hey, I've had this so all so oh original idea earlier today. Um, because I just like started playing a random game in my Steam library that I saw wouldn't take too long to do. Um, basically, I had the idea, and I was like enjoying it as well. I had the idea to like do that on Twitch, basically, like go to like um, SteamDB or whatever it is that like shows you all of your games and shit and how much your account is worth and um yeah just like every week or so play a random game if i enjoy it then uh continue playing it if not then just stop playing it after the one session obviously that's very original no one's ever done that before no 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 steam library is quite big it's like it it's not the biggest but it's over 250 games which is a fair few a lot of those, quite frankly, I'm never going to play. With this, I will have an incentive to play them. Not that good of a trade, but I'll take it. Oh, we really need to upgrade our iron farm. I think that's the one of the bottlenecks at the moment, so... Um, can I be asked to do that right now? Because it is kind of a pain in the ass. But at the same time, I just need to copy that module over there. Probably not going to do those, because that's... Uh, a lot more expensive. 
than just trading straight up iron or straight up sticks. I'm gonna fill this up with water. I mean, blocks. And then we can make a different pool. Right, yeah, so what's the bet that the next wandering trader we get is going to come on day 105? I mean, it's better than my current sword, let's face it. Let's get some pearls then. It's very expensive pearls. Yeah, we've got the nether wart trade now. Now that's something I think worth pursuing. Um, well of enchanting, not very useful at the moment. I know which direction I want to go now, I think. Because we've explored in that direction, we got nothing. So let's explore in this direction. Now we tried to last time, I forgot why we didn't go much further than we did, but... Yes, I want to go this way. I want to go this way. I think this is right. So many stupid piglins. Like, why do they have to be aggro? This is what I don't get. <gasps> oh, okay, I remember why we didn't go there. I didn't even take the enderpearls with me. Enderpearls could be life-saving here. This is just a stupid biome. Like, this is actually such a stupid biome. It was like, oh yeah, let's make this thing that's impossible to traverse for no reason whatsoever. I do appreciate though that there's fewer mobs here. Otherwise this would be absolutely impossible to do anything with. What? We we found? We... we what? <laughs> okay. But it's really big. Look how far away it stretches. We do need blaze rods. Um, just one will do for now because with one we can make an ender chest. And we can make an eye vendor from which we only need one to find a stronghold. <laughs> okay, okay, buddy. Oh, that's a fucking spawner shit. Ah, oh, fire from lava burns a long time. Um, we have golden carrots, let's use those. Woohoohoohoohoo! Okay, we got one, we got one. That's all we need. Um, now, if we can find some... <sighs> Fuck. Uh, if we can find some nether wart, we'll be literally set for villager trading as well. And then... Oh, God. Not that useful. Okay. Okay, um, I am thinking we fuck off in a second because I'm getting scared. I think we can now leave this for now. <laughs> uh, we didn't get a diamond from the loot, but it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Those magma cubes just looking to kamikaze me, aren't they? We got four blaze rods, that's actually really good. Um, that's more than I hoped for. I, I am going to, I want, I want to know where the nearest stronghold is. Really? Are you telling me it's in this direction? Of course it fucking breaks. It's okay, it's okay. So it's telling me that the stronghold is in this direction. We've been in this direction quite far, I think. Unless I just barely missed it or something. I see it. I literally see it. <laughs> okay, let's go. Um quite a big one. Yes, there it is. There, that's the portal room over there. Whew. And on that note, we go back home because I have zero intention of going up there. I really want to get sugar cane. We can make better trades. Once we have glass as well, once we have a um, sand duper, we'll be able to make potions. And with speed potions, we'll be able to make the horse go quicker. And that would be really nice. Although by then I'll probably actually have an elytra, so I'm, I'll, I'll just stop using the horse to be honest. Now that I've got melons, I'm going to design a melon farm that I can build cheap and like efficient, fully automatic and stuff um, to trade melons with the farmer. Yeah, we also need a lot more other stuff. So much stuff from the wandering trader. Also, I think um, now that we've got more tools and stuff available to us, I'm going to start trying to like spawn proof all of this by that i mean turn it into bedrock um so we don't have all these slimes everywhere our mob farm would actually work um 
and then I don't need to worry about zombies and stuff, or just any mobs. And I can just like do stuff during the night, rather than waiting a few couple minutes every night for me to be able to fall asleep. Obviously this is something for, like when I have a bit more tools than this. Um, I think that's going to be after we fight the Ender Dragon though. Um, we'll probably get to the Ender Dragon first. My, my luck in this world is so bad. I swear, every single randomizer just goes to the minimum chances. I bet you it's going to take like 200 Wither Skeletons until I get my first Wither Skull. Okay, now we're getting stuff. Well, that's probably going to be it for today then. Not really made all that much progress in the grand scheme of things, but we have found a lot of cool stuff that we can then do more stuff with. We finally found a, uh, a fortress, so we can hopefully come back there, loot it all, um, and yeah, get some Wither Skeleton Skulls, get some beacons going at some point in the future. Stronghold, we'll come back to that eventually, once I have better gear. I mostly just want diamond armor, and then I think I'll be good. I think that's probably going to be it for today then, so bye.